Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 2 of the same topic that is the playing with numbers. In that we will see the innings that is 5.2. So if n is a number and n divided by 5 leaves a remainder 4 and the division n divided by 2 leaves a remainder 1. So what must be the 1's digit of n? So a number when divided by 5, this will be n is a number. So when it is divided by 5, leaves the remainder 4, has to end with either it is going to be, because the remainder is 4, so here it is going to end with 4 or 9. So similarly a number when it is divided by 2, leaves the remainder 1, can end in 3, 5, 7 and 9. So then what we can see, here is 4 or 9 and here is 3, 5, 7 and 9. So now we can see the number common to both what you can see. We have 9 over here as well as here. So it is ending with 9. So example, if we take 29, when divided by 5, if we take 29, if we divide by 5, 5, 5 is 25. So what do we get? So the remainder is 4. So we'll give 4 and when divided by 2, we'll give a remainder of 1. So if we divide this by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, so the remainder is 1. So now we can say therefore n divided by 5 leaves the remainder 4 and n divided by 2 leaves the remainder 1. Therefore 1's one digit of n is 9 because we have the common is 9. So 9 is the answer. So write two numbers which are divisible by 3 but not by 9 and then they said can you find a number which is divisible by 9 but not by 3. So numbers divisible by 3 but not by 9 could be it can be 6 and 12. There can be other numbers also but this here we can also say 6 and 12. There will be so many numbers but where this 6 and 12 also are the numbers. So number divisible by 9 is always divisible by 3 because you know 3 threes are 9 so it will be always divisible by 3. So what did they do? Can you find a number which is divisible by 9 but not by 3? So so there is no such number that is divisible by 9 but not by 3. So find a number which is a multiple of all numbers from 1 to 10. So which is a multiple of all numbers from 1 to 10 means a number which is a multiple of numbers from 1 to 10 means actually we have to take the LCM of these all numbers from 1 to 10. So now you know 1, we need not take 1, 1 is always going to be 1. So we'll start with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and we'll take the LCM. So now whatever do, what is the rule for the LCM? Always we start with the 2, multiple of 2. So here the multiple of 2 is 2, 1's are here 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. So the other numbers, these are not divisible by 2, they will remain in. Again we will go with 2. So where it is possible, here 2 1s are, here 2 2s are and the other remains remain the same. Again what you can see, 2 is here. So first thing we have to clear all with 2s. So now we don't have any number here which is divisible by 2. So we will go with 3. So here it is possible by 3, we will go first with 3, Others, other numbers remain the same. A same again here it is possible with three three ones are other numbers remain the same so now what you can see the smallest number here will be five so we'll start with five first and then seven is going to be the same the rest of all is one now possible here is only seven seven ones are seven so these are yes. so now what are you going to do these all things we have written over here so when you multiply this all we can multiply and see. So that is going to be 2520. So what did they say? Find a number which is a multiple of all numbers from 1 to 10. That is 2520. Write a number of nat natural numbers less than or equal to 100 which are not divisible by 2, 3 or 5. So now let us see with 2 because we have 100 numbers. So 100 divided by 2 that is going to be 50. Numbers divisible by 3. That is going to be 100 divided by 3, that is 33 approximately. Numbers divisible by 5, that is going to be 20, 100 
divided by 5 is 20. Now we will see for divisible by 2 and 3. By 2 and 3 that is divisible by 6. 2 and 3 that is going to be that is divisible by 6. So now 16, 6 and 96 means is approximately 16. Now we will see for 2 and 5. Numbers divisible by 2 and 5 that is 2 and 5 that is going to be 10. So 100 divided by 10 that is going to be 10. Then numbers divisible by 3 and 5. That is divisible by 3 and 5 that is going to be 15. So 15, 6 and 90. So 15, 7 is 105. So approximately we can take it to 6. Now numbers divisible by 2, 3 and 5. So that will be when you take the LCM of this one. 2, 3 and 5 that is going to be 30. So 33 is a 90. 34 is a 120. That is not possible. So approximately is 3. So now what we can say, we can, what did they say? Numbers divisible by 2, 3 or 5. So what did we get here? We got here 50, here 33 and this 20 because these are all single numbers. So this we are going to add it. And then what did we get here? Here we got approximation here. here. Again, this is 2 and 3. That is 16, 10 and 6. So that we are going to subtract it. And then numbers divisible by 2, 3 and 5. So this is plus. We are going to add this one because now these are all three numbers here. That is divisible by 30. So you are going to add it. So now what you do, this is addition and this also is addition. So you get, when you add all this one, you get 106. And this is subtraction minus 16, minus 10, minus 6. So that is going to be minus 32. So that is 74. So we can say that the numbers of integers that are not divisible by 2, 3, or 5, because there are total 100 integers here. So 100 minus this 74, that is 26. So the number of natural numbers less than or equal to 100, which are not divisible by 2, 3, or 5, is 26. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.